Good morning, everyone. Good morning. No breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, it didn't improve. <laughs> Usually, the second time is much louder. OK, so welcome to the engineering workshop. Uh, this is the workshop for the Telco project. So uh, my name is uh, Kang Wan Lee from SK Telecom. I'm one of the co-leads of the Telco project. Uh, Brian Radish from Verizon is another co-lead, but uh, he had an urgent uh, reschedule, so he couldn't make it. Um, so I'm going to just to welcome, uh, I want to welcome you and just wanted to go over briefly uh, about a few things because uh, every month we have uh, monthly calls, but this month we don't have because we are uh, here together physically in person. So um, I want to just uh, touch upon a few things that was uh, that were brought out uh, and discussed during the last uh, monthly call, and uh, wanted to get a quick uh, update. Wanted to give you a quick update and uh, get any input from you. Okay, that's me. So, so in, in the. Um, in the last meeting, uh, there was a comment about uh, there is uh, some confusion related to what OCP Telco is trying to do and what is TIP doing. And uh, we had a discussion. Uh, uh, we had the we had some discussion about that. And uh, at the meeting, it was sort of sorted out. But uh, the suggestion was that it would be good to have a place where people can go and look up and uh, see without any uh, uh, confusion that they can, uh, they can get the idea of the difference between the OCP telco and TIP. And for those who are not familiar with TIP, uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it stands for Telco Infra Project. So it has a uh, telco theme uh, in it. Uh, definitely, and it is uh, trying to innovate uh, all aspects of telco infrastructure. So uh, obviously, uh, there is a lot of, I mean, uh, discussion about, so what's different from OCP telco? Uh, we also are trying to address the telco issues with uh, innovative hardware. Uh, I think the main difference is uh, in OCP, everything is uh, open, fully open. So you can, to the, to the spec level, so every detail about the proposals, uh, uh, it's on the web, and uh, the, all the discussions uh, are through the mailing list. There is no private communication. And, um, and we are more focused because of our uh, start we are focused on the open source data center gears for general data center hardwares, while TIP uh, has uh, a certain hardware that is uh, not squarely in the OCP realm, uh, such as a remote radio unit uh, and uh, certain uh, specification that are uh, more wireless in, uh, in that regard. But one thing that is uh, really distinguishing between the OCP Telco and TIP is that this part that contributions to OCP Telco should be open to public and contributions to TIP can be open with either uh, royalty free option or license option. So TIP is not fully open. It is, uh, you can think of it as a half open type of process. So. So that's the main difference, and uh, TIP has its own projects going. So uh, what, we are, what we will try to do is to uh, uh, post something like this in our page, and also we will coordinate with TIP uh, leaders so that uh, they also have a similar, uh, the same understanding as we have. And what we are trying to do with TIP is that when there is TIP Summit, um, uh, we want to get involved and uh, uh, people from OCP can uh, uh, 
potentially get invited, and uh, we want to try to do that vice versa. So, so this is what uh, we are proposing uh, this draft, and um, uh, we'll uh, post it. And uh, if there is any like uh, suggestion for modification and things like that. Uh, we can certainly take a look at that, but this is something that we have worked on with uh, while discussing with other uh, people involved, uh, including the previous leader. So that's the first thing I wanted to sh share. The second thing is that um, uh, we were asked to revisit our project scope and to see if the current project scope that uh, is stated is uh, accurate, and uh, we made a uh, small modification. Uh, so the modifications are marked in red color. So everything is the same except uh, the third one, uh, new, uh, basically other than, so there are things um, that were before, but uh, we wanted to add this uh, uh, aspect of uh, new products, basically, specifically designed for telco and uh, carrier grade data center, because um, some of the proposal that we already are processing didn't seem to quite fit with the rest of the uh, description. So they were not uh, uh, compatible products or drive products or supplement products. So we added a category of new. And uh, uh, for out of scope, um, uh, we felt uh, the third bullet was too strong because um, the reason is that it's also conflict is somehow com conflicting with the previous scope because uh, we wanted to be able to work with specs that are uh, specific to telco, but it might be a, a derivation or a small modification from, uh, uh, now we need to see how small is small, but uh, it can be a modification from the other uh, already existing scope. Uh, we have to see it has to be significantly different, but this uh, third uh, sentence was too strong, so what we try to do is to make it work so that uh, even if it is, it has aspects of server, it has aspects of network, it has aspects of racks, uh, it can be discussed in the telco scope. If it, is, if it has significant uh, features that are, I mean, beneficial to telcos. Sorry. Yeah, and this uh, last one, uh, this is a, there is a really a small modification. So one is just the addition of tenant there. Uh, this one is deleted because uh, in OCP, I mean, we are not looking at anything related to drones or uh, anything uh, related to uh, maritime equipment and things like that. Uh, when we initially thought about the telco project, uh, I mean, this was, again, before we cleared out things uh, with TIP that we, ex we tried to explore as much as possible, but looks like we are not uh, discussing any of these stuff, so we just uh, removed it from the key focus area, but I mean, if someone st starts uh, a serious uh, proposal uh, regarding that, uh, we can look, look at it, but uh, that's not the current key focus areas. So these are uh, some of the things uh, that I thought I would share with the larger group. Uh, and um, any questions or comments? So they will be posted in the telco uh, wiki. And uh, if there is no uh, further questions or comment, I will uh, uh, 
uh, introduce uh, Jeff Sharp from AD Link. Are you? Got number one. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you and welcome. Thank you, SK.